books contain far more and richer vocabulary than what we use in daily speech. Reading experts agree that exposure to language is even more beneficial than direct instruction. This means that teaching kids what a certain word means is fantastic, but what's even better is lots of language, lots of the time. Books add a whole new element to this learning. Our spoken vocabulary is surprisingly low. Although we know many thousands of words, on average we only tend to use between 400 and 600 different ones when we speak. When we read, however, we use all kinds of words we simply don't use in everyday speech. In their article, What Reading Does for the Mind, literacy experts Anne E. Cunningham and Keith E. Stanovich show that we get so much from books that we can't get anywhere else. They share that we should provide all children with as many reading experiences as possible. Indeed, this becomes doubly imperative for precisely those children whose verbal abilities are most in need of bolstering, for it is the very act of reading that can build those capacities. Babies and young children all need that bolstering, and books can do a ton of the legwork. You may be tempted to stop and explain tricky words, or even to skip them, but the truth is simply hearing these new words are how babies and kids start to learn them. The key takeaways are, keep reading, try not to edit or skip complicated words, keep reading, vary the types of books you read, and one more, keep reading. <laughs>